Hello! In this video, we cover how to set up the Bartender System Database. The Bartender Application Suite uses the System Database for secure, centralized logging of print job history, label data and label images, and application event messages. The System Database can also store revisions of your label designs and other documents, providing powerful document and publishing management functions. Lastly, it provides secure storage of security information, such as user permissions and electronic signatures. The Bartender System Database works on top of Microsoft's SQL Database Platform. Bartender ships with Microsoft's free SQL Server Express 2005 edition. However, Bartender is compatible with any edition of SQL Server 2005, 2008, or 2008 R2. The automation edition of Bartender must use a local instance of SQL Server. However, the Enterprise Automation Edition can be used with any version of SQL Server that resides anywhere on your network. The Bartender System service allows applications in the Bartender suite to communicate with the system database. This service is automatically installed when you perform an installation of the full Bartender suite. If you intend to keep your system database on the same computer that Bartender is running on, then no additional configuration is required. However, if you plan to use a centralized SQL Server, then it is necessary to configure the Bartender system service to use an account that has permissions to access the network location where the server is being hosted. If you need to change the permissions granted to the Bartender System Service, open the Windows Start menu and select Control Panel. Select Administrative Tools. Then double click Services from the list. Double click the Bartender System Service to open the properties. Select the Logon tab at the top of the dialog. Select this account and type the username and password for an account that has the network access credentials necessary to access the centralized SQL Server. Press OK to apply the changes and then press OK when prompted. Press the option to restart the service shown under the name of the service currently selected. Once the service restarts, close the service's window. And remember, you only need to do all this if your Bartender System service does not already have permission to access the SQL Server you intend to use for your Bartender System database. You must run the System Database Setup Utility to create, configure, and initially connect to your Bartender System database. Let's begin by opening the Windows Start menu. Click All Programs. Select Bartender from the list. And then select System Database Setup from the menu. If this is your first time accessing the System Database Setup utility, a setup wizard will appear as it does here. Press the Next button in the setup wizard to continue. The wizard will ask if you want to use an existing Microsoft SQL Server or install a new copy of Microsoft SQL Server Express. For this example, we will install a new instance of Microsoft SQL Server Express on this PC. 
Press Next to continue. You will then be prompted to specify a name for the SQL Server instance. You may choose to keep the default name of Bartender or create your own. Once you have chosen a name, you will see a checkbox below that allows other machines to remotely access this database. Checking this box configures SQL Server accordingly. Press the Install button to start the installation process. Once the installation is complete, you will be prompted to enter a name for the Bartender System database. The default selection of Bartender will already be present. Press Next to advance to the Automatic Database Maintenance dialog. The Enable Automatic Database Maintenance checkbox is already selected by default. The Setup button allows you to control specific maintenance settings. You can choose to adjust these now or you can do so later by running the System Database Setup Utility again. We will address this topic later in the video. Pressing Next gives you one last chance to go back and change your requested settings before the System Database is configured. Press Setup to perform the final steps required before you exit the System Database Setup Wizard. Once the setup wizard has completed successfully, the results of the installation display in the Details dialog. Press Finish to exit the setup wizard. The Bartender System Database Setup dialog now appears. This dialog provides a variety of functions related to System Database Setup. You have the option to reopen the System Database Setup wizard. You can see the current connection status to your Bartender System database. Below connection status are the caching options. If for some reason Bartender temporarily loses connection with the system database, the Bartender System service will cache as much information as it can and write it to the database later once the connection is re-established. You may disable this feature if desired by unchecking the Cache Log to Disk checkbox. The Message Setup button allows you to configure how database connection, logging, and maintenance status messages are logged to the Windows Event Log or Bartender System Database. If you are connected to a server on your local machine, clicking on the Maintenance tab allows you to change options that control the archiving and maintenance of your system database. The Setup button opens the Maintenance Options dialog. This allows you to customize when database maintenance occurs, what tasks are performed, and what messages get logged to the database. Other maintenance tasks include backing up and restoring the records in your database, along with the ability to delete all records. The maintenance status reveals the next time maintenance will happen along with when it last completed and whether or not it was successful. You may also manually perform maintenance on the database by clicking the Run Now button. The Service tab confirms the Bartender System service is currently running and which user it is logged on as. Press OK to exit the dialog. If you have decided to use a local system database with a currently logged on user, then you are done. If, however, you want multiple users to access the database on the local machine or want to set up access for remote users connecting from another machine, please watch the separate Configuring Database Access Permissions video. Thank you for watching.